Hey guys, welcome. This is Dr. Steph here. Uh, let's just uh, give everybody a few minutes here to hop on live. Um, as you start to hop on, uh, send a comment. Uh, I can't see who's on unless you comment. Uh, so let me know if you can hear me. Tell me about the audio. This is the first time I'm doing this here, so we're going to maybe work out some kinks. But if you're on right now, if you can hear me, just, uh, oh, hey, Amber. So you can hear me, I take it. Give me a thumbs up or give me a comment, actually. I can't see the thumbs up, but I can only see the comments. Here, I'll let you guys see me here. All right, there we go. There I am. All right. Coming at you live from my living room here at home. Hey, Lori. Hey, Allison. Caitlin, here for another one. Yes. Okay, Am, we can hear you. Good. Audio is good. Good morning, Jennifer. Hey, Janice, you told me yesterday that you'd be here, and here you are. Perfect. All right, Lori, you can hear me. Excellent. Uh, okay, so if for some reason the audio cuts out, uh, <laughs> let me know, because uh, I'll try to figure it out, and I won't just keep talking. All right. Let's just give a couple more. Oh, hey, Carol, our uh, local uh cosmetics and detox experts here is uh is online with us if if, if y'all can see carol uh give her a like uh i'm gonna send a bunch of you guys uh towards her later in the um in the talk when we talk about makeup and cosmetics um because she's got amazing amazing non-toxic products anita sounds good good all right but yeah let me know if the audio cuts out here because i'm using a microphone just above my face and uh it's battery powered, so if the battery goes out, let me know so I can unplug and just use the mic from my laptop. All right, let's get started here, and uh, other people can start to slowly trickle in. Okay, so we're talking about detox today. It's one of the um, key essentials uh, if you expect to live a long, healthy life, disease-free, pain-free. Um, if you want to pass on a, you know, a lasting legacy of health and vitality, uh, detox is something you have to master here. So let's first start off by talking about, um, here, let me just switch this here so you guys can see more of PowerPoint and less of me. And let's get right into it here. So we got to um, we got to start off by talking about what detox is and, and what it's not, because there's a lot of misconceptions about what detox is. Um, you know, detox is a word that's thrown around quite a bit, and it's on a lot of products, potions, lotions, um, and it couldn't be further from what detoxification actually is or how you achieve it. So, uh, what is it not? Um, you don't you don't detox from a pill. Um, even the ones that we sell that say detox on it, uh, I'll explain there. But it's not the pill that's detoxing you. Uh, from all the toxicity that you're on. You don't get it from a vitamin. You don't get it uh, by doing a cleanse. It's not the cleanse itself. So it's not that uh, skinny tea or magic tea or um, this uh, liquid that you may have come across on the internet. Um, those all might have really good ingredients in them, but it's not the product itself that is creating the detox. And, you know, I've done, you know, two week long green juice uh, feasts, you know, fasting with just green juices for two weeks at a time. And yes, your body detoxes it, it feels amazing. You get rid of all kinds of stuff. You start to sleep better, have more energy, have less pain, have less symptoms but it's not because of the green juice. So that's something I want you guys to really key in uh, and not get uh, kind of sucked into buying a whole lot of, you know, like expensive uh, quote unquote detox products. Um, because at the end of the day, it's your own body. It, that is the only thing that can actually uh, detoxify uh, long term. You know, if you have poisoning, things like that, you're rushed to the emergency room, they can give you things to pull those toxins out. Uh, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about like getting through this very toxic world uh, and living past 100. And um, I don't want to see any of you in a nursing home on drugs, you know, 
you know, perishing before it's, you know, your genetically programmed time here, which all human beings are genetically programmed to live way beyond 100. I'll, I'll show that in a second here. Uh, so more on what detox is, it's a natural process that your body does 24 seven to maintain homeostasis. If you haven't heard the word homeostasis, it basically refers to your own body's ability to create a balance between the good and the bad. Always keeping you alive um, is what homeostasis is. But it can be, it has to be interference free. You cannot interfere with these biological processes that are trying to keep you healthy, keep you alive, keep you in balance and out of harm's way. So uh, the definition uh, more so is uh, in biology, homeostasis is the state of steady internal physical and chemical conditions maintained by living systems. Uh, in other words, this is the condition of optimal functioning for the organism. Uh, Roxanne, you're saying you're trying to listen and you lost it. Do you mean the audio? Can you guys still hear the audio? It's, this is going to be my number one fear here is losing the audio. Somebody give me a comment that you can still hear me. Hey, Shar. All right, so uh, based on that uh, definition here, if you guys can still hear me, uh, detoxifying from the accumulation of external toxicants and internal toxins created by byproducts of your own metabolism, um, it's one of the many, many ways that your body demonstrates its impressive uh, ability, its impressive wisdom to keep you alive and healthy. Thank you, Carol, uh, for letting me know that you guys can still hear me, good. Welcome to my very first webinar where we're going to work out the kinks as we go here. <laughs> All right. So you guys get the idea that it, it's your own body that detoxifies and you, you have to do certain things to not interfere with it. And at Max Living here, we refer to not interfering with your body uh, through the lens of, uh, we'll go to the next slide here, through the lens of the five essentials. And so... The five essentials is, it's a system, it's a healthcare delivery system that covers all of your bases from birth till death. If you're well versed in the five essentials, you will be able to protect yourself, um, be free of disease, live a long, healthy life, free of pain, free of medications, free of unnecessary surgeries, but you kind of have to know um, what these five essentials are if you're expected to kind of navigate through the murky waters of misinformation and over medicalization. Um, it, it's always seemed to kind of hear as one story is you're born and it's drugs right away and then you grow up and it's doctor visits and more drugs and then eventually organs start to malfunction and then they, they don't give you another option other than just cut them out or to give you even more toxic drugs. So the five essentials is your solution to all that. You wanna live a long, healthy life, life outside of that uh, very, very uh, broken model uh, that causes just more and more disease every year. Uh, then you gotta learn the five essentials. It's your roadmap to living your best life. So uh, let's get a little bit more into what they are. Uh, core chiropractic is the foundation of what we what we do and what we talk about. Not because chiropractic itself, but because of, of how chiropractic fits into uh, maintaining a healthy, helping you maintain a healthy central nervous system. So you guys may have heard that the brain controls everything else in your body. Uh, it sends signals down the spine and out the nerves to every cell, tissue, and organ in your body. And so chiropractic is simply a system to help you maintain the master control system, which controls everything else. So if you want, if you want a healthy liver, which is your, your main detox organ, well, the nerve going to your liver had better be working well. And it had better not have any pressure from the spine or anywhere on the spinal cord to allow that brain to communicate with that liver and the liver back to the brain, et cetera, right? So you get the idea of why chiropractic fits in um, so importantly in these five essentials because it's gonna keep your central nervous system firing on all cylinders. And then we got pure and simple nutrition. You gotta eat real food, not fake food. Your mindset matters tremendously because of how stress just destroys everything in your body. 
Um, you got to get oxygen and exercise. That's the fourth one you see on the list right there. Um, you got to oxygenate your tissues every single day. It's actually a really important part of how your body uh, uh, converts a toxin into something that's neutralized and able to be eliminated. Uh, Oxygen is an important part of that. It's an important part of getting you energy and to perform all of your daily functions. If you don't have enough oxygen, uh, you're dead. And exercise is the best way to supercharge that amount of oxygen. And then the last one, this is the one we're talking about today. There are other classes on the other ones uh, that you can go back and listen. Today we're focusing on minimizing toxins because um, if you ask me, my opinion is that out of all these five, uh, this is the one that has the largest impact uh, on our health. This can take you out uh, in a matter of uh, minutes if you're poisoned to a matter of days if you're constantly uh, exposed to a large amount of toxics like lead paint, asbestos, for example. And then the more uh, subtle, the more insidious uh, and dangerous way is that we're constantly exposed to micro uh, amounts in all of the products that we use in the household, out of the household, uh, our environment itself. And it's this small dose that slowly accumulates and accumulates. And then all of a sudden, there's a straw that breaks the camel's back. Um, there's a toxic load that has been uh, pushed beyond what your body's capable and all of a sudden it's disease, it's organ malfunction and it's early death. So toxicity is ever present and this whole webinar is going to be teaching you guys on how to protect yourself. Okay, so yes, Carol says it's, it's, a, it's a roadmap. It's, it's like a treasure map. It's a roadmap towards uh, solving your health issues and living your healthiest life. Um, and you want to be doing all five every day. So uh, let's, uh, let's move on here and talk about a little bit of the state of the union here. So uh, we can talk about minimizing toxins without first realizing just how sick we have become as a nation. Um, these are always shocking to me every year when you redo this talk, you redo another toxicity talk or a health talk in the clinic, uh, we, we update the statistics and every year our jaws drop because they just keep getting worse here. So uh, while it may seem, a <laughs> let, me, let me bring myself back here. While it may seem a little doom and gloom here, this is gonna be uh, heavy on the how bad things are kind of talk. Um, how toxic things actually are. It's going to be heavy on that, uh, but don't worry. Please don't lose hope. Um, because of the five essentials, we're going to outline some extremely simple and very powerful solutions for you guys to escape this uh, toxic world, essentially. So uh, just want to make sure that um, as I go through this talk, it's very easy to start to lose hope. Do not lose hope. All right, stick with me here. All right, back to the talk. Okay, so the State of the Union, how sick are we? Um, well, take a look at these uh, incredible stats here. So genetically, um, we are, uh, you know, we're supposed to easily live into our 100th year and beyond. The oldest known uh, human being lived past 122. Some reports say she stole her mother's birth certificate, so it might have actually been 100, but uh, whichever story is true, um, people are living a hundred and beyond. Um, there are several people that have done that. So, you know, if one human can do it, uh, that tells me a lot. Another human can do it. What one person can do, another person can do. But we don't all live with the same conditions, right? And Americans, the condition uh, of our life here is so uh, toxic and it's so stressful um, that we don't even make it past 78. That's that's insane. I mean, we're losing, we're losing up to, you know, it, like if you take this example of the 120 year old, we're losing up to a, a 40 years, 40 years of life. And those could be mostly quality years. So there's something that we're doing wrong here. If you, um, you know, if you're paying attention, we rank dead last amongst all other wealthy developed nations. If you're reading ahead of me here, um, let's just go through this insane list that keeps getting worse every year. We, in the U.S. here, we have the highest chronic disease burdens. 
the uh, that's go that goes in adults and kids. You know, like if you're 55 and older, statistically, you have two or more chronic diseases already. 80% of 55 year olds or older have at least one chronic disease. So that's almost everybody has a chronic disease. If you take the age of like like all adults, so 18 and up, so 60% have at least a chronic disease. Okay, four, uh, um, four out of every 10 adults have two or more chronic diseases. If you if you go from 18 all the way up, this is insane. Uh, one stat says that over 50% of kids, 50% of kids, um, have a chronic disease like uh, asthma, allergies, uh, things like obesity. They've tripled in recent years. Uh, over eight million kids are taking dangerous brain-altering psych drugs. Thyroid condition uh, conditions are, are ravaging the female populations. One out of four of you watching right now have great difficulty sleeping. Say the statistics. And what what is the purpose of of, of, of sleep? To let your body heal. And so if we're not getting good sleep, we're not detoxing, we're not healing, and then we're just being given more drugs. We have the most obesity, the most cancer, the most heart disease in the world, and it gets worse. We have the most suicides, we have the most, we take the most antidepressants out of any country in the world. But we also have the most suicides, like figure that one out. We have the most autoimmune conditions, and that's a category that has just skyrocketed like no other category. It seems to have come out of nowhere. So the only logical way, uh, place to look is that what are we doing to ourselves? Why do we have so much disease, new diseases that 20, 30 years ago were so rare? Okay, we have the most autism in the world. And the scariest one of all, we have out of all the richest developed nations, we have the worst infant mortality rate. Uh, so your chances of making it to year one of life is worse in this country than all other uh, wealthy developed nations. It's, it's uh, the saddest statistic and uh, the biggest call to action, if you ask me, the biggest call to action to, like, let's wake up, take ownership, of what we are doing to ourselves with our own decisions every day and stop waiting for someone to come and save us. The answers, uh, the answers are all around us. The answers uh, lie in these five key areas, the five essentials. We can erase these statistics one by one if you take ownership of your own actions. This doesn't have to be um, your path, just because it's the general path of most Americans. Uh, this is not the path of people that live the five essentials. Um, I know families that live the five essentials that are complete anomalies to these horrendous statistics. They just don't fit in there because they have no chronic disease. They've never been given drugs. Um, they've never had uh, surgeries to remove organs. They've uh, in generations in families that live this way, they don't have the rates of cancer and heart disease and diabetes. It just doesn't exist in a person who lives really, really intentionally. So uh, just keep that in mind because uh, check this out here. Uh, all right, can you guys see the next one here? All right, we spend over tri $3 trillion on healthcare every single year trying to get healthy. Okay, so three, over, it's, it's like, it's three and a half trillion this year, like the updated statistic, three and a half trillion dollars every year that we spend on trying to get healthy in this country alone. That's 10 times more than the next richest country spends. We take over 4 billion, over 4 billion prescriptions. That's not over the counter drugs. Over 4 billion prescriptions each year are written that's enough for 12 each, every American. And I don't take any, none of the uh, staff members at the clinic take any, uh, uh, none of my family members take any. So like, who's taken double that to make up the average? You know what I mean? Like, you know, like if 12 is the average, I take none. That means somebody has to be taken 24 to make that average. We just had a patient start uh, just this week. 
he was on 22 different medications and this is becoming more and more the norm. Uh, it's insane to think that we're gonna build more health by putting more toxic chemicals in our bodies and somehow, oh, oh, the eighth drug, that's gonna solve all your problems. I mean, give me a break. We have to stop this way of thinking and approaching our health. And um, it, it seems like I get a little passionate about this topic. Yes, I, I get a little intense because I've seen the difference between families that live the five essentials, individuals that live the five essentials, and I mean, like, re really live it every day. Uh, health is their full-time job, you know, and the and the average American. And it's shocking. It's it's these statistics are disgusting. Like we, we should be so ashamed of the way that uh, we wake up every day and choose to you know to move through our life, just kind of like ignoring. Um, our own responsibilities to our own health. And you might think that it's genetic, but we're gonna touch on that in a second here. So let's uh, let's move on here. <laughs> Carol says, preach it doc. Yes, uh, if I'm offending anybody, well, I'm, I'm sorry, but um, uh, this is just, these are facts, these are realities. And if you don't wanna be a part of these statistics, then you can't live the same way that everybody lives or else you can, you know, what's that Tony Robbins quote? Uh, if you do, you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, like the fly who keeps hitting the window, expecting to go out and he keeps flying into it in the window. You keep doing the same thing, living the same way every single day, expecting a different result. That's the definition of insanity. If you want to not be a part of these statistics and not toxify your body, you have to, you have to make different choices, intentional choices, and then just watch the power that is already inside your body to heal and self-regulate will just take over and you're going to start to detoxify and heal. Drugs are going to start to fall off. Pain is going to start to fall away. Disease is going to start to be reversed, just like in so many patients that we've taken care of that have adopted this way of living. So there's tons and tons and tons of hope built into this. All right. I already saw that one. All right, next. Okay. I'm almost done here. 5% of the world's population, but take that, uh, check this. We take 85% of the world's drugs. Over 5% of the world's population. That is insane. No wonder we're so sick. We actually believe we have allowed, we have allowed doctors and the medical system, not doctors themselves, they have wonderful hearts for serving and helping people. It's, it's the whole system. It's this whole, uh, uh, education that we get from birth that when you feel pain, when you have a symptom, you go take a drug. And that's the story from birth till death. You take a drug. Why would you eat healthier foods? That doesn't matter. Why would you do anything else other than take a toxic drug? That's the story we've been given. And that's how we end up at a statistic that says that we take 85% of the world's drugs, right? So it's something we are doing to ourselves uh, that is not working and it's, uh, it's, it's robbing us of our health. So, right, Carol, uh, Carol Furman here, our local cosmetics and detox expert here. Uh, she says, sick care is not healthier. Thank you for the comment that leads perfectly into my next slide here. It's story time, story time with Dr. Steph. Ask the staff members, they love story time with Dr. Steph. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. All right. You guys have all seen this before. There's a clean fish bowl on your left. There is a dirty, toxic fish bowl on the right. So who's gonna fare better? The fish on the left or the fish on the right? Who's gonna live longer? Write your comments, put in your votes. Um, should be pretty uh, obvious. The fish on the left are gonna live a much uh, longer and healthier life. Why is that? Because the water is dirty on the right, and <laughs> Amber, um, the water is dirty on the right. And so the story is this. This is what we do in the US, in Canada, where I'm originally from. This is what we do in developed nations when the water is dirty. We put drugs in the water to try to save the fish. 
But we all know that the obvious solution here, and I know you're all screaming it, you know, at your screens, your screens is clean the dirty water, clean the environment, or the fish has no chance of living. Okay, because we can put a pill to try to improve uh, certain functions in the in the fish. Oh, the fish's lungs aren't, uh, uh, you know, the gills aren't taking in oxygen through the water because the, the water is toxic and murky, but we put it in the drunk to kind of expand that and increase the levels of oxygen that they're taking. You, you still haven't fixed the problem. You still haven't fixed the, the muddy water. And this is our healthcare system. Right? Yes, Shelly, you're right. The one on the left is the healthy fish. But if we keep behaving like we do, we are all in the fishbowl in the right because we are obsessed with just adding symptom treatments to the dirty water, meaning our environments, our internal bodies are sick because of environmental toxins, because of the bad foods that we eat, because of the stress that we have. And instead of dealing with the actual problem and fixing the problem, which means taking the dirty water out and replacing it with clean water in this analogy, we would rather mask the symptom and forget about it and pretend like everything is going to go back to normal. Oh, we're depressed. There's a magic pill that's going to solve all of your problems. Uh, the only, only issue is that it enhances all those problems and it comes with a laundry list of other side effects. Uh, we have heart disease from our terrible lifestyles. Well, here's a magic pill to uh, reduce your cholesterol, reduce your blood pressure, all intelligent things that your body is raising to try to save itself. It's never doing the wrong thing at the right time. That's another concept I want you guys to really understand here. Your body's always doing the right thing at the right time to try to keep you in homeostasis, to keep you alive, in other words. But we are obsessed with just masking symptoms. And those that choose to continue just masking symptoms are going to be part of those statistics that we mentioned earlier. Those that choose to actually look inward, look at the cause of their issue. What am I doing to make myself so sick? Am I moving my body enough to get enough oxygen? Am I eating the right types of foods? You gotta have an honest uh, you know, accounting of what's going on in your life if you ever expect to be healthy. And I know, I know it sounds harsh. I'm, I'm, you know, like I get really intense about this and people might feel a little bit of, you know, judgment, but please hear, hear my heart here. This isn't coming from a place of judgment uh, because ultimately I'm not responsible for the way that you live your life. I, but I do deeply care about, um, I do deeply care about your life and how, how you feel and how you live. And I want you, I want to empower you to leave a lasting legacy of health and vitality. I want you to be able to have the roadmap to end generational curses of sickness and disease in your family. But you can't do that unless you clean the dirty water, right? So symptoms are a warning sign. Uh, and if we mask the symptoms, you will never be healthy, right? So it's not your genetics, right? Uh, we always want to blame something. We want to blame our parents. We want to blame our genetics. We never actually want to take responsibility for where we ended up with our health. Uh, but, you know, they keep looking into this and journals like the, the Journal of Pharmaceutical Research says that cancer is a preventable disease that requires major lifestyle change, right? And the University of Columbia School of Public Health has also come to the same conclusion. They both say that 90 to 95% all cancer is due to the accumulation of environmental toxins and a poor lifestyle. So it's not genetics for the most part, 95%, right? So if it's true that we have incredible amounts of control over our, 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 excuse me, our outcomes, um, I find this incredibly empowering, incredibly hopeful here. You have all the control in the world to today make a different choice to be healthier. You know, because the human body has been designed for this. It's got an impressive ability to self-heal, self-regulate. And we all we have to do is not interfere so darn much, right? And the five essential system looked at all the five major areas that cause interference in your health. And it helps, it, it helps you remove them from your life. So here's a study called the 10 Americans. You know, uh, uh, 
proving my point about genetics here. You know, like we start off on such the, like a wrong foot here in life. Uh, so they studied 10 Americans and they took their blood. Um, uh, 10 Americans who had no, no exposure, no direct exposure to any toxins. And uh, they found out that they had, you know, uh, tremendous amount of the toxicity in these 10 Americans. The reason uh, that these 10 Americans had no direct exposure to toxins is because they were still in utero, right? So 287 chemicals were found in the cord blood going into the baby, okay? Uh, 28 waste uh, byproducts, 47 consumer product ingredients like Teflon and flame retardants from mattresses and carpets, Scotchgard, uh, 212 industrial chemicals and pesticides. Um, you know, some were banned 30 years ago and they still found them in the blood of these fetuses in utero, right? And this is extremely dangerous because uh, the baby in utero has no blood brain barrier yet. So the toxins can get right into the brain. And so when babies are most vulnerable to toxins during, you know, the nine months of development of this, um, what do you think happens when they're born? They're just, they're already starting life on the wrong foot. So we have to clean up our internal environments. We have to do our best to clean up our external environments. Uh, if we ever expect to ever not have disease, right? So hormone disruptors, infertility, uh, you know, uh, causing chemicals, immunotoxic chemicals were all found in these babies. So let's, let's go through that here. So we're going to rip through this list of seven uh, uh, large uh, areas where you, you can have great control in reducing uh, um, huge, huge amounts of cancer uh, causing toxins here. So let's expose them. Uh, first, I wanna say that um, there are 70,000, 70,000 here, let me switch views here. So there's 70,000 chemicals that are used com commercially. There are 3,000 plus chemicals that are added to the food supply. 10,000 plus chemicals are used just for food processing and preserving and the storage of foods. Okay, and all the while in places like Europe, they've banned, you know, over 1,300 of these chemicals. Uh, what, it, what, what has the U.S. banned on that list? Uh, they've banned 11. <laughs> I mean, we're so far behind. We're living in the stone ages of hell here. <laughs> and I have to think there are other forces at play that are keeping these uh, products on the market. Um, that's a rabbit hole for another day. But uh, the, the EPA, the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency estimates that our homes, our homes, the air inside our homes are five to a hundred times more toxic than the outdoor polluted air. That's ridiculous. So uh, the first thing I want you guys to start cleaning up here, if you want your bodies to start detoxing, your bodies to start healing, uh, reversing disease, uh, we're going to help you guys clean up the, the home first, right? Because the air is so toxic inside the home because we're literally marinating our bodies in toxins every second of every day, right? So here's the list here quickly. It's... Uh, it's medications, it's household and personal care products, it's toxic cookware and containers, it's tap water, it's heavy metal, uh, uh, it's mold, and then it's our food itself. That's the list we're gonna uh, go through today. So uh, take take some notes here, and uh, let's let's just get right into it here. The number one cause of toxicity is pharmaceutical drugs, by far. Um, not just taking drugs, even uh, over-the-counter ones, not just the prescriptions, over-the-counter drugs, even on an occasional basis, they dramatically, dramatically increase your risk of cancer. Um, and after, uh, you know, after cancer and heart disease being the number one and number two cause of death uh, in, in this country, uh, some studies that I've read are rating um, medical errors and properly, so listen to this, not, 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 uh, oops, I gave you the wrong dose, properly prescribed medications and medical errors as the number three leading cause of death in this country. Unbelievable. I mean, yeah, just give me, give me another drug and just like, I'll cross my fingers. <laughs> no, thank you. That's not my plan. Um, I don't want to see any of you guys 
on these toxic drugs. And I get it. There's 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 going to be a a detoxification, like a safe detoxification phase that you're going to have to to go through, and you're going to have to discuss this with your doctor. But if you don't want to be on these drugs, uh, keep paying attention and launch yourself into these five essentials because that's the roadmap we've seen so many of our patients successfully come off of the number one cause of toxicity we have a, like a couple of drug jugs we call them in the clinic which are full of empty drug containers of all categories from patients that have done the five essentials and successfully detoxed from the, you know one of the leading causes of death here um, it, it, it these are so damaging uh, even tylenol if you guys heard of like children tylenol uh, children's Tylenol, we give them to reduce fevers, which is a terrible idea, by the way. Uh, a kid has a 540% increased risk of developing asthma, even with just occasional use of children's Tylenol. Ridiculous stuff happening, how we're damaging the brains of our own kids. We give it out like candy because we've been told that, oh, if you have a symptom, you're sick and you have to get rid of the symptom. Never mind building health from within. Never mind trusting in the innate wisdom of your body to be able to get through that fever um, as it does so brilliantly. All we've been trained to do is run to the drugstore and get these over-the-counter safe drugs, but they're destroying our kids' brains. Um, so that would be the first thing. And I, I during the teaser yesterday, I promised to tell you guys about the number one most toxic drug in the world. Um, Throw a comment if you think you 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 know what it is. Um, you yeah. So Carol is saying Tylenol depletes glutathione. Glutathione is your most important antioxidant in your body, and every drug you take just wipes you clean of it, uh, making you so vulnerable. So um, you might think that the most toxic drugs are things like the opioids. Obviously, you know thousands and thousands of people are dying from opioid addiction. Uh, powerful, powerful drugs. Um, you might think it's powerful painkillers, you know, like Norco or gabapentin. Those are extremely toxic. Um, but yes, Char, Charlene Holcomb. Thank you. Uh, it's statin, statin drugs. Uh, number one, most toxic drug in the world, um, is cholesterol lowering drugs because of the amount that we take, um, these are stunning. Okay, it's, it's still decades into their life here. It's, it's still the number one most profitable and most prescribed drug. Um, there's over 300 known 300 known side effects of this one drug. They just destroy your body. Okay, uh, something that shocked me was to find out that uh, almost 43 percent of adults over 40 are taking one. And I mean, we have a document at the clinic that's 600 pages long. Uh, that's, that details uh, almost 600 scientific studies that show how devastating these drugs are to the human body and other studies that show that they actually have no benefit if you're using them for preventative measures. So unbelievable. Like if you, if you were to like get off of something fast, get with your doctor on a plan to uh, safely come off of these drugs, get with us to get on the five essentials plan to rapidly build your health so that you can uh, come off of these drugs. And uh, after drugs, number two, uh, you know, most toxic you know, thing are your household products and personal care products. So these are the daily most commonly used things in your house, like your soaps, your shampoos, your detergents, cleaners, air fresheners, toothpaste, deodorants, lotions, potions, makeups, okay? These commonly used products contain, they contain chemicals like phthalates and styrenes and parabens and PFAS. You know, we all know in, in Michigan, we all know about PFAS because of the water contamination uh, uh, almost everywhere here. Uh, we know about lead contamination also, unfortunately. But these products contain SLS, uh, and so they contain hundreds of known cancer causing agents and they also disrupt your hormones. So they're neurotoxic for the brain. They're toxic for your immune system. They destroy normal healthy bacteria in your gut that, that that's needed to sustain life inside your body. And we wonder why we're so plagued with disease because we use these products every single day in small amounts, but they accumulate over time. So just because you feel fine after using them doesn't mean that you should. So here are some of the most commonly used ones, you know, like you got your harsh chemical, you know, cleaners and 
detergents, you got your Lysols, you got your makeups on here and your deodorants and shampoos and lotions. You got your antibacterial soaps and you can see that uh, those those silly uh, Glade uh, car air fresheners and those are so toxic if you um, if you read up about them. Um, so we're going to give you some really, really easy switches so that you can replace all of these products in the household and start using much, much uh, safer ones. Um, if you if you want to read about those silly uh, car air fresheners that are so toxic, go to greennedinfo.com and uh, type in air freshener. It's ridiculous. Uh, so I promised you the number one most toxic health, host, uh, household product yesterday when we gave the little teaser trailer and some easy healthy switches all right well it's actually you know it's multiple items it's the ones that you use on a daily basis those are the most toxic it's the ones that you're just constantly constantly putting on your bodies it's the lotions it's the shampoos it's the it's the toothpaste it's the cleaners that you're using on a daily basis and the air fresheners that you're breathing in every single day I would rate those as the most toxic because you're just having the most exposure to them. So I'm going to rip through a list of my favorite healthy or like healthy alternatives, uh, non-toxic alternatives. Um, if you miss some of them, don't uh, feel free to just come back and uh, watch the, the webinar again. Um, but we're also going to give you an app uh, or I'll, I'll share an app that uh, you can actually just go shopping with and it'll tell you which of the uh, products in your own grocery store are the healthiest. So uh, stick with me here for a second here. All right, let's go to full screen here so you can really properly see it. My favorite products that are easily accessible at most grocery stores here and show very little toxicity are the following brands. All right, seventh generation. You've all heard that because you've seen it on the, the shelves at, at your local grocery stores. Uh, and if you look them up, they're actually uh, an amazing alternative to the nut or to the more common uh, toxic chemicals that we use in our household. So seventh generation is what you want to go look at. doTERRA, it's an essential oils company, but they also make incredible household cleaners and soaps. Uh, we use these all the time. And boy, do these smell. These smell amazing. Young Living is another company that makes essential oils, and they have a line of household cleaners. Also, they're powerful and they smell amazing. Pure Haven is something that I personally use quite a bit. My laundry detergent, you can see it on the right. It's that bag on the right. I use that. I use the stain remover from Pure Haven. I use um, uh, certain soaps from Pure Haven, etc. cetera. So uh, amazing company. And I, I love what they stand for. They're 100%, 100% toxin free, okay? They make beauty products, health products, cosmetics, candles, cleaning products. My Essence. This is something I found out uh, when traveling to visit family. Um, a lot of my cousins, my my sister, they they almost exclusively use this line of organic skincare, hair care, and personal uh, care products. Um, they also have cosmetics, 100% non-toxic. Dr. Bronner's, okay, if you're going to switch to like an all-purpose soap that can be used for just about anything, even a shampoo and a body wash, um, this is the brand that I would recommend. You can find it just about anywhere. You can order most of these products online too and find a local representative if you just search the companies. Uh, Dr. Bronner's is, is almost everywhere now and it's organic, fair trade ingredients, okay? Um, no preservatives, no foaming agents, no toxic chemicals. You can, you know, you can use it in your hair, on your face. Um, you can wash food uh, off your dishes. You can use it for laundry detergent. Uh, love, love this brand. Uh, Tom's of Maine. Uh, if you're going to switch to a safer, um, you know, oral hygiene uh, line, that's uh, that's one recommendation that I have. Schmitz started using this uh, about a year ago when uh, Dr. Mark, the owner of our clinic, started talking about it in um, a detox workshop that he gave uh, last year. So Schmitz, you can find that uh, just about anywhere as well. Now Target, uh, Meyer, they all uh, have this uh, chemical-free uh, deodorant. Uh, I love it. Fragrance, instead of, okay, instead of those toxic 
air, uh, um, not air purifiers, but the um, those air fresheners. Get yourself a diffuser. Get yourself a high quality essential oils from a company like doTERRA or Young Living and start diffusing that in the bedroom, in the living room, in the kitchen. Uh, they're even ha they even have uh, portable ones for your car. This is where you're gonna get uh, rid of a lot of the toxic fumes in your house here. All right, so in the comment section, you can see her, she's been commenting quite a bit here. Uh, my good friend and colleague from, we go way back, um, she is a representative for a makeup company. This is my favorite makeup uh, product that I use. I don't know about all you other guys out there, um, but uh, I only use crunchy makeup when I apply makeup to my face. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> of course I'm kidding, but uh, ladies, uh, one of the most, um, the highest toxic burden that you are going to have in your life is um, the the cosmetics that you put on your skin every single day. Uh, I, I, I can't speak uh, enough about that. Uh, but if you want more information on a, a complete switch to a uh, an amazing line of products that do the same thing, they look the same, um, but they, they don't have all the toxic ingredients, uh, give my friend Carol Furman here, you can see her in the comments, give, like, send her a message. She can explain it much, much better than, than I could ever. Uh, join her Natural Mama Collective and um, uh, do some research on this product line called Crunchy. Um, so thanks, Carol, for being on here. And um, thanks for answering any questions that uh, the people here, guys or girls, I know they've got a, a men's a skin care line as well. Um, so give her, give her a shout. She can explain everything. She could do uh, demos for you guys. She can uh, set everything up. So this moving on here we're almost done here this is an app that i want everybody to start uh download uh, i want everybody to uh, start downloading right now sorry i'm getting distracted here i need some water it's called the think dirty app All right so you can go to the store you can scan a barcode of a product like let's say a shampoo it's going to give you a toxicity rating it's going to tell you which products are safe, which products are, are toxic. If, if you scan a toxic product, it's going to give you in the app right there, safe alternatives that are in that grocery store that are rated a zero for toxicity. So they have a zero to 10 scale. You want to be shopping for products, personal care, household products, cleaners, detergents, etc. The Think Dirty app is going to guide you through your grocery store and tell you which ones are on a scale of zero to 10, and being the absolute worst, you never want to you know, touch that stuff, uh, which products are actually available that are on the scale from zero, zero to three is where you want to stay, okay? Anything above five, six on that scale, don't even touch it. Keep it out of your home. Another app that does a good job, but is more focused on cosmetics, you can scan the barcode and look up cosmetics at the grocery store, uh, and food as well is the uh, Environmental Working Group uh, groups healthy living app so the ewg healthy living app they cover uh, a lot of toxicity things but they focus more on things like cosmetics and food uh, i find so everybody um you know download the think dirty app download the ewg app and start shopping smarter so you can live longer with less disease number three on our list non-stick pots and pans like teflon cookware Okay, PFOAs are chemicals that are, uh, are in Teflon. They cause ADHD and other childhood development conditions, liver issues for people, pancreas issues, testicular and mammary gland tumors. Ladies, it's been found to damage hormones that, and specifically your thyroid. So when this stuff gets scratched it, it, and it gets heated up, it gets into the air, it gets into your lungs. And it's one of the most toxic products in your house. So make us make um, and then plastic containers. We're going to talk about that as well. Plastic containers, you know, and bottles. They leach the BPAs and the BPSs. Sometimes it says BPA free. Well, okay, are they free of BPSs as well and all other phthalates and, and xenoestrogens? Not really, but they might say BPA free. So just watch out for that. Um, you just want to move away from plastics and Teflon pans uh, because they they just ravage your your um, your endocrine system. Your hormones are, are going to be toast if you keep using plastics and Teflon. Uh, so 
in my house anyways, we found a safer alternative for the nonstick pan. If you can use stainless steel and keep your heat low and et cetera, not burn things, uh, We've moved to this, uh, and, and there are other alternatives. Like all the time, there are new companies that are coming up with safer choices. Um, I personally, I, I, I'm liking the green pans myself. Uh, let me switch back to the other view so you can get a better picture of what this looks like here. And I don't need to be featured so much here with my face on the screen here, but take a look at the green pans. All right, so these are toxin-free. They're free of PFAS, uh, PFOAs, so the, the stuff in Teflon. They're free of lead and cadmium, okay? Uh, traditional nonstick pans are made from plastics. Green pans are made from ceramic, and the main material is sand, not plastic. So a healthy alternative. All right, glass containers for your food storage. That is an easy switch, and it's going to, over a life, a person's lifetime, you will get exposed to far less plastics. And for the love of God, do not microwave or heat up your food in a plastic container. All right, plastics leach hormone disrupting chemicals. They're toxic to the liver, the thyroid. They're linked to so many cancers. Move to glass containers. Number four, we have unfiltered tap water. All right, so the EPA reports that cancer risks in people who drink tap water is 93% higher than those, those who don't drink tap water, right? So we want to take the stuff that's in the tap water out, in other words. Right, and think about it. if in the shower you expose yourself to 25 gallons of this toxic water when you shower, okay? And uh, the skin repels about 75% of all the chemicals and toxins that it comes in contact with. But what's happening to the other 25% that is absorbed, right? So a 15 minute shower is like drinking eight glasses of cancer causing water, right? And the, the hot water produces, produces steam, and then you inhale those poisons too. This, Steam, uh, you know, it, it facilitates the, the transformation of these chemicals into chloroform and, um, and other chemicals. And that gives, gets absorbed. It raises your risk. So here's what we use. We've got this zero water filter that takes uh, everything out of the water. It leaves zero total dissolved solids in the drinking water. It's made of activated carbon. It, it, um, it greatly, greatly reduces the chlorine to almost zero. Uh, it tastes amazing. So that's a safer alternative here on the left. Uh, get a water delivery system. Call, call your local uh, water delivery. Uh, see if they have the glass containers instead of the plastic containers. Get yourself a dispenser uh, and stop drinking the tap water. Uh, Okay, there are also uh, shower filters and tap filters like this Aqua Bliss uh, shower filter. Some of these are only like 45 bucks. For $45, you can eliminate most of the toxins in that water when you're showering or when you're drinking water. So that's a super tip right there to uh, minimize the exposure because boy, are we exposed to some toxic water these days. Uh, us that live in Michigan, we know about that. All right, number five, heavy metals. All right, heavy metals are neurotoxins and they come from things like mercury and lead and aluminum and other heavy metals. You find them in amalgam fillings. Mercury has even uh, been found in high fructose corn syrup, which is in all of your food. Unbelievable. They have no morals, these companies that produce these toxic foods for us, but we keep buying it from them for some reason. Um, okay, so mercury is found in uh, things like your annual flu shot, extremely toxic. People that have five or more flu shots uh, in a row, says the research, uh, your, your chances of things like Alzheimer's go through the roof. So uh, you think I recommend uh, an annual flu shot? Heck no. Okay, so these heavy metals, they're found in other drugs as well. They're found in household chemicals. If you live in an old house, uh, you better not be sanding any walls because that lead poisoning from old paint is real. We've uh, experienced it in our own house here with my own fiance, you know, suffering from some severe toxicity uh, um, uh, issues recently. And when we, uh, uh, she, she went and got a test done, her levels of lead uh, were through the roof. Um, you know, so, if that's an issue, if you're not healing, uh, it might be because you've got some deeper, uh, deep-rooted heavy metal toxicity. That's a discussion for another uh, time. If you suspect that you're doing all the five essentials um, and you're still not healing, you're doing everything you can. You, you've switched this, you switched that, you're still not healing. 
it, it might be a deeper rooted issue like a heavy metal toxicity and then we can guide you through the proper testing where to go what to do to actually detox safely from uh heavy metals and uh, studies have shown that uh, the more amalgam fillings that are in your mouth, the more uh, mercury you're going to have in your organs, including the brain, including the kidneys. It's one of the most toxic elements on the planet. So, uh, you know, but don't just run blindly out and have them taken out by any dentist uh, without understanding the process. Most are not certified to remove those amalgam fillings safely. There is a protocol. Um, but boy, if you're feeling symptoms like depression and uh, fatigue, anxiety, forgetfulness, um, you know, like, uh, you know, eyelid, face muscle twitching, digestive issues, constipation, diarrhea, uh, frequent, oh, here's one, frequent bad breath, uh, constant body odor, that you, you are so toxic. Uh, and need to do something. Uh, dizziness, irritability, unexplained anger. Um, these are all signs uh, that you might have deeper levels of toxicity that require uh, a full-on assault, including removing heavy metals, right? So here are the associations I recommend looking up. Uh, heavy metals in your, your are in your cosmetics as well. So look for the International Academy of Biological Dentistry or look for the International Academy of oral medicine and toxicology where you can find a local dentist that can help you remove it number six moving right along mold this is a massive massive problem okay it is estimated that 50 to 100 common indoor mold types have the potential to create health problems and this is from osha in 2017 um it's really easy to know if mold is something that's uh, keeping you sick. Uh, one, you're gonna have weird symptoms. Some of the symptoms are not even on that list. You're just gonna have like weird energy issues. Uh, you're tired all the time. You're gonna have breathing difficulties. It's gonna feel like allergies and potential sneezing and coughing. Uh, but those could be signs like he you're getting headaches yeah, it could be heavy metals. Yes, it could be other things, but look into the mold uh, issue. Um, order yourself online uh, or at Home Depot. Get a get a household mold testing kit, okay? And you have to buy two of them. You got to send it to the lab. It'll come back and it'll tell you if there's mold in your environment. If there's mold in your environment, you got to remove it. You got to get it. You you, you got to like sometimes pay the big bucks to um, uh, get that mold removed. Otherwise, you are in big trouble. So mold is number six. You do not want to be uh, dealing with mold here. Number seven, last one on our list. I, I, I could do a whole week's worth of talk, uh, a, a talk on, on how toxic uh, the food supply is. Um, there is a brilliant webinar that was given by Dr. Mark two weeks ago um, talking about food. So I encourage everyone that has not watched it yet, go back and that could be the, the most powerful hour that you spend in terms of changing your daily habits is switching what you're eating. Um, it's about knowing what not to eat and what to replace it so you, you're not feeling like you're suffering so much. There's a brilliant webinar on nutrition from a couple weeks ago. Go back and check it out. Uh, I'll just give a few key points uh, as it relates to toxicity here and your food. So um, there's over 3 million tons of pesticides that are used each year worldwide and they're sprayed on all the crops and that's getting into our bodies because it stays on the food you cannot wash it off and it's creating nervous and brain disorders uh immune system uh suppression it's causing so many cancers childhood cancers are through the roof one of the reasons is because of this toxic load in our environment diabetes reproductive organs are being damaged hormone problems asthma hdhd autism, migraine headaches, developmental delays, unbelievable that we are still insistent on spraying this many toxic chemicals on our foods. What's more impressive is that we just continue to buy it. <laughs> Knowing what we know, we just continue to buy it when there are safer alternatives like organic foods that are grown with no chemicals. Um, and if you think that organic food, well, the, the argument is, is this, right? Like the, the, 
the argument is oh, organic food is going to add, you know, $10, $15 to my grocery bill every time I go. I can't afford that. Yeah, I get it. But have you priced out cancer? Have you priced out heart disease lately? The number one cause of bankruptcy that's destroying families in this country is medical debt. If you don't get off the, the expensive drugs that are toxifying your body and killing you, if you don't clean up your diet and start eating organic foods and fresh water, um, <laughs> I mean, you're a goner. That, that's, the, that's the fast track to early death and, and disease and suffering. So one of the easiest things you can do is just get the organic version of what you're already buying, right? So... Um, talking about, you know, uh, toxicity here, uh, moving on, you know, uh, the biggest toxicity problem with, you know, like with the pesticide that are sprayed is, is a chemical called glyphosate, right? We all know it as Roundup, uh, but this is sprayed on all corn, uh, all soybeans and wheat. And the reason they genetically modify most of these crops isn't to enhance the nutrient content of this food. That's the stories that we sometimes get told. It's because these crops can suck up and absorb infinitely more amounts of these toxic pesticides and without killing the plant. Some of these GMOs are, are, are modified so that they, they themselves, the plant themselves, produces the toxin. And then we eat it and we put it in everything. Corn is in every packaged food. Soy is in every packaged food um, that we eat. All wheat is contaminated. It, every human being on the planet has amounts of glyphosate, a cancer-causing chemical, in their tissues. And we store it in our tissues. So please consider moving towards organic foods, natural ways of eating. 50 countries in the world, have, including France, Germany, Italy, all of these other uh, rich countries, they've restricted GMOs, while the U.S. doesn't even require us to label that the food you're eating has been genetically modified and sprayed with enormous, enormous amounts of cancer-causing chemicals. They don't, we're not even required to label that. Uh, go USA. <laughs> people, people that... Uh, know me or understand I'm not actually like hating on the US I love living here um, I moved from Canada to live here so um, so the number one uh, most toxic food that you eat here before we wrap it up um, I promise you guys this um, you know this is uh, you got to get away from the uh, conventionally raised animal products which are eating nothing but the genetically modified uh, pesticide sprayed grains and corn and candy even um you got you got to look this up it's crazy uh it, so number one switch uh, switch to uh, naturally grass-fed and wild-caught meats and then uh, uh the other most toxic food that you're currently eating is anything processed that contains added sugar and toxic toxic oils like gmo canola oil or gmo soybean oil um this is also found in everything everything that's in a package that you haven't made yourself. So um, again, go back and watch the uh, nutrition uh, webinar. Uh, and you know, get educated, get educated on how to eat better for a, uh, for a healthier life. It's not, it's not all like munching on uh, salad and carrots and super boring. I don't eat like that. I feel like I eat like a king. Anybody that's been to my nutrition talk knows uh, like the stuff that I love to cook and the amazing dishes, uh, you guys can uh, transition to a more a safer way to eat for your health, uh, a, a way to eat to reverse disease and not have it kind of like destroy your your um, your love of food, in other words. So, I mean, this is what we're trying to avoid here, all the processed junk. And what is the answer? What is the answer? Uh, we went through seven major things here, seven toxic areas. What is the answer? The answer is the five essentials, right? Th these are the five key areas that are going to rob you of normal function and lead you towards disease if there's interference with these five areas. And, uh, you know, environmental toxicants outside and inside our bodies are totally interfering with these five, uh, uh, these five areas. Uh, so let's review, right? Because uh, I, I remember at the beginning I said, like, 
there is a way out of this seemingly hopeless picture I painted, right? And the five essential system, this is a system that you put together, you learn it and you just, you, you make your decisions every single day based on this because your body is able to heal from the inside out if it does not have any interference. And so it's this above down inside out principle that I wanna talk about. So essential number one, we talk about core chiropractic because it allows your body to heal from the inside by removing interference to your central nervous system. You're already de designed to detox. You're already designed to heal. You're already designed to kill cancer cells, but not if you interfere with your nervous system. Your liver cannot function normally if the nerve that comes out of your back here where it hurts, that's going to the liver, is pinched, uh, whether you feel it or not. Get checked on a weekly basis for what we call subluxation, which is interference to the nervous system. It's essential number one. And that's really where healing from above down, inside out. You were given all of the ability to heal from above down. You guys all know that. And health comes from the inside, not the outside in ever, right? So essential number two is part two of the roadmap back to health, right? You gotta eat real food. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on this, but once you've mastered the basics and only once you've mastered the basics and you are moving towards living the five essentials, then you can start to include things like the detox system uh, that we sell at the clinic. I currently take it, I take it on a daily basis and I feel amazing. I, I, I've i noticed that since taking this, uh, starting to take this system, I do not wake up feeling so groggy anymore. It, it's one of the biggest things that I've noticed for myself and I was already doing pretty good with my five essentials. Um, I could always do better, but when I started taking the detox system, uh, after you know you master the basics, you can expect to start to detox even more rapidly uh, because this as a system, of, it's a two part system where um, there are ingredients that get into you, they take out the bad and then the second part, they've got uh, the activated charcoal and the fiber component to it that binds to the toxins that have been uh, taken out of the cells and you can safely eliminate them. So it's a two part system, it's extremely gentle, extremely effective, like you can use it literally every single day, but it's got powerful ingredients uh, that won't make a lick of difference if you are not doing the five essentials. So do the five essentials first, master the basics, and then you can enhance your own natural detox by adding something like a powerful supplement like the detox system. Uh, I believe there's there's probably discounts for people that have been on the webinar and can show proof at the clinic that they've been on the webinar. I believe, don't quote me for that. But anyways, we're always given discounts on supplements. So keep an eye out for something like that. Essential number three, you gotta have a good mindset. Okay, you can't wake up all doom and gloom every day. Uh, you can't go through life, um, you know, with a negative mindset. Uh, you know, remember that French lady who lived past 122? Some say it's 100. Uh, well, it turns out she loved chocolate. She even smoked. But she, she the, the oldest reported, you know, living human even smoked. But you dig into her story, and what did she not have that every single one of us have too much of, right? She didn't, she had virtually no stress when you look into her story. And it was her amazing perspective and her amazing outlook on life that allowed her, right? Yeah, absolutely, stress kills. And so um, you gotta remove the stress from your life one way or another, or it's literally killing you, right? So uh, something not to be neglected is your own mindset. So uh, we, Number one, we talked about mindset. Dr. Mark gave a, a phenomenal webinar that's going to prime you to just like crush your days with a positive mindset and get rid of that depression, get rid of the limiting beliefs. That's so important to be healthy. Essential number four, uh, you got to sweat. You got to get oxygen in your body. Sweating and exercise is the fastest way to detox naturally since you'll be increasing your metabolic pathways, including the detox ones. So your liver, here's what your, here's what your liver does. Let me, um, excuse me. Here's what your liver does. Your liver takes, uh, you know, the exposure to toxins and it turns them into water soluble, 
compounds that can be easily excreted from the body. Your liver is absolutely amazing. It's this chemical factory that's just the, the most brilliant thing you've ever, uh, ever seen if you've studied it. Um, it, it has all the chemistry, all, all the natural chemistry to, to, to deal with every health issue that you, you're ever going to come across if you're, li you're living properly. So your liver takes these toxins, it, it, it uh, transforms them into something that your body can excrete through the pores, through the urine, um, through the bowels, right? And so every time you're urinating, you're detoxing. But you got to stay well hydrated for that to happen. Right. And um, uh, the rule is at least half your body weight in ounces every day, at least half your body weight in ounces minimum, probably more if you're an active person. OK, so sweat is the second part. If you want to like enhance what your body's already doing, you know, through just excreting toxins, sweat it out every single day. Sweat to supercharge your rate of excreting water, water soluble toxins through your sweat. And then rehydrate even more. And the very last one is the point of this whole talk. You got to minimize the toxins if you ever, ever want to lose weight. Because most of these toxic chemicals in our environments, they're called obesogenic. They cause you to gain weight and retain weight because they mess with your hormones so much. So you got to minimize the toxins if you want to reduce your rates of cancers and um, endocrine uh, disrupting uh, conditions and neurological brain can basically, if you want to be healthy, you have to minimize the toxins. Um, okay. It should be self-explanatory, simply reduce and even cut out all the things that we mentioned on those lists today that are robbing your body of normal function and causing it to spiral out of control towards chronic disease. And that's all I got. Five essentials is the system. Uh, you have a book on it. If you're a patient in the clinic, you have a book on it. Study that book. Ask more questions. Send us some emails. Uh, type in your questions in the comments. There's a lot of staff members that have been uh, on here. I see that I've been trying to answer your questions. Uh, we'll keep answering your questions as long as you keep sending your questions. So send us an email. I hope this has been valuable and informative. Uh, I hope uh, that you guys got some good resources to kind of clean up your life, so to speak, so that uh, we all, we all can grow old. Uh, and have quality years well past 100. That's the goal here. I want you guys to leave a, a lasting legacy of health and wellness and vitality. And you can't do that if you continuously believe that health comes from pill, potion, or lotion. It just will never happen for you. So health only comes from within, and it comes from above, down, inside out. That's the, the chiropractic philosophy of life. And those families that adopt that philosophy for their own health, these are the healthiest people that I've ever met. You can be the healthiest person that I've ever met too if you start applying the five essentials and really get proficient at them and let them be your guide. Let them make your decisions uh, throughout your day and you're going to be safer. You're going to be healthier and we, we all can get to celebrate together. Hey, if some of you guys start to come off of some of those drugs that come donate them to our drug bin, please. We want to fill up even more drug uh, canisters um, than we already have. And it's possible you could be the next huge five essential success story if you apply these. Next week, we've got another one coming at you. So stay tuned. If you've missed the first few webinars, go back and watch them. And uh, here's to your best health, have your best day. I am Dr. Steph and I am out.